Arsenal fan TV. I'm here with two very disappointed um, United people, or, or should I say Man United fans from United People's TV, yep. Sam and Ira. How are you doing, Ira? Uh, not, too up, bad, huh? not too bad, not too bad. <laughs> they got it because it was a last minute goal. Yeah. I know the jammy, feeling. Jammy last... Arsenal, Jammy huh? Arsenal, Jammy. Yeah. Didn't deserve anything from the game today. That the Arsenal team out there had no heart, you know, no, no nothing really going for No forward. heart, no heart, no passion, nothing. Just, just, just eleven men. They showed on the pitch. a lot of heart though to get to come back and score in the end. Yeah, yeah, they got, they got lucky. They got lucky. It was a lucky. Was it a deflection? Deflected goal? It, it, it was very lucky. What well, deflected lucky. in off somebody? <laughs> it weren't lucky, was it? I mean, there's a bit of quality against 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 the run of play. Even you've got to admit that yourself, Robbie. Mm. What, did, what did you make of it, Sam? I can't believe that Arsenal got anything from that game. I thought exactly the same as last season. Arsenal come to Old Trafford full of beans. United are looking a bit down in the dumps. We had you on toast for the whole game. And I think, was that, was that your first shot on target? It definitely was in the second half. And I mean, I'm, I'm embarrassed for our defence that the fact that the one dangerous ball into the box led to a goal. That's bad on our front. Bad on your front is you really didn't turn up today. You had, yeah, you didn't have Cazola, which is an important player for you, but you had Ozil, you had Walcott, you had Sanchez. And, it, and, and if, if Pogba has been disappearing all season, I don't know where they were today because United just had you in total control. Mourinho knows how to play against Wenger and he did it again today. Your players, as... Yeah, but we didn't as, lose the game. I yeah, mean, you didn't lose the game, but you, you can't be coming away from that happy with the performance. Happy, course, I'm, no, happy I'm with not the happy with the performance. Happy but, with the result, yes, of course. Are you always happy with the performance well, in every game? Well, not with United this season, but that's Stoke, Burnley and Arsenal. Three draws we've had at Old Trafford, three games where we deserve to win, but we haven't. Obviously, that was a penalty in the first half. Don't try and tell me it wasn't. I, don't, I didn't think it was a penalty. Uh, I mean, I haven't seen it back, but I, I didn't think it back. I didn't think it was a penalty. I thought he was a def dive. Honestly, it, it was a, a lot of contact, was it? it we was pushed a, it him was, over. It was a rugby tackle. It was a genuine rugby tackle. All and right. Valencia was in front of Monreal. Why was Danny Blind not sent off then? Answer me that one. Daily you know, you, Blind. Or Daily. Is it Daily? Danny? What is da it? Daily. Daily. Daily's right? the older one. Right. Why was Daily Blind not sent off before that? Even before that incident, Daily Blind, he took out Jenkinson, he's already on a yellow card, cleaned him out. You sure he was on a yellow? He was on a yellow, why, why was he not sent off? Probably for the same reason that Sanchez wasn't sent off for a scissor tackle in the first half and only got a yellow. That referee today, he made a lot of questionable decisions, but I think he probably made wrong decisions on both sides. I think that's happening too often, but I suppose they're humans and it's refs all that shit. Mm. But I'm really, really disappointed because three points there today against Arsenal, we're then three points behind you, we're back on track, it's a little turning point for us. But now we're stalemating again. And uh, something that really frustrated me is that starting 11. Everyone's saying Mourinho's gonna do X, Y, and Z. We parked the bus against Chelsea and Liverpool when we needed to. Today, we had that was the best 11 we could have put out there. Very aggressive, with real intent. And we controlled the game. But the something that frustrated me the most was whenever Valencia or Rashford or Martial got into an attacking position on the wing and put a ball into the box, there was nobody following in and nobody got on the end of those balls. There were so many dangerous crosses that we put in that just went through the box because nobody got on them. So had we turned up and had, our, it's the same problem with the United this season. Had our finishing been better, we would have won the game today. We it's hadn't, still, we let still, you back in it. Still early in the season. Um, who do you think out of the two teams will finish higher? And I'm not gonna, I remember there was a, another, um, another um, TV channel that I spoke to last year and asked them the same question. And they bit me a grant, which ain't paid up yet, by the way. But anyway, I ain't going to get into that. But I'm asking you to say a question. You ain't going to put no money on it. Who do you think, who do you think will finish higher this season? United or Arsenal? It's, it's a very good question and one that I wish to You're not answer. You're answering it like a politician now. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're sounding like Donald Trump. I just want you, right? Not Donald to, Trump. <laughs> I just want you to answer it. Not, no. Who do you think will finish higher? United. United. I think United. Okay. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's only November. Nothing's won in November. I still think that Mourinho is the man to take us forward. He can he can turn our current situation round. And I just th generally think that Arsenal are just going to do an Arsenal and just kind of capitulate, uh, you know, in the next few months or so, and then you know start having a bit of a bit, bit of a run in. We you normally know, do that in November. Yeah. We're not doing bad at the moment. And then yeah, come March, you know, have go on a nice little run, but it'll be too little, too late for them. Okay. You know, and you the, the Wenger in, Wenger, Wenger out brigade. Just He's trying to hold on to something here today. What about you? <laughs> Look, right, I do think you'll finish above us this season, but I think United are going to be right on your tail. I, I, I do think that 
Arsenal have got a little bit of a spine this season, whereas previously you've had no backbone at all. But you will have a little wobble. And once oh, you, when so. the wobble comes, how will you cope with it? Don't know. But United right now, we're, we're stuck in second gear. We're drawing left, right and centre. We got trashed at, at Chelsea. Um, and we're, we're not a cohesive team yet. Mourinho's brought the right players in. We've got a really good squad. I think the positive for you two guys today was Pogba. He, he looked decent to me today. Yeah, but, that's, but Pogba's been doing this all season. I think, again, mm. he's going to walk away from this game going, how did I not get an assist in this game? Because he put a couple of chances on a plate for his teammates who just aren't making the most of it. Mm. And Jose Mourinho's got to get these players up for fire and odd. And then we're going to have a, a long run. The hardest game we've got in December is Spurs at Old Trafford. And we saw what they did against Man City. And then we saw what Man City did to us. But mm. I think you look better this season. But from what I saw in there, you're not a title winning team. So there we have it. I'm happy. I'm still happy with a point. Humbug. Um, listen, guys. Venger in. Pleasure. Yeah, Venger in, man. <laughs> We've got a brand new website. Make sure you get on there right now. You've got all of our videos. You've got new stories on there. You know, lots and lots of features. Also, if you want to write for Arsenal Fan TV, you've got the chance to do that by submitting your blog. So make sure you get onto our brand new website, ArsenalFanTV.com. Get on it now.